There are four data store in Vols, which are room file, reservation file, ticket file, and account file. Then the next step is to identify the required field for each data store. So let's get back to the case study. Okay, this is the case study. We still using the same color code, the red color is the system user while the green color is for the system requirement did you know did you notice that the brown color text okay that's the required field for the particular data store from the case study we notice that the room type price and availability are the required field dealing with room file data store it means data required for a room are room type, price, and availability. Meanwhile, name, mailing address, email address, and phone number are related to contact information that's required by the account. Data need for a ticket are room number, issues, and resolution. These are three set of fields which is directly translated from the case study. However, when we want to create the data store, we have to have a skill to imagine on how the data will be stored in the database in future. Each data store will become a table in a database. From the database point of view, each table, which is considered a strong entity, have to have its own primary key. The primary key is a unique identifier for a record in a table. Typically, identifier or ID field is inserted. So, in this case, room ID, account ID, ticket ID are placed into these three entities. Another issue is a field called room number inside ticket entity it represent the id for a room so it is equivalent to room id in room entity we have to think of the relationship between these data store the relationship is important to visualize the relational table while we create a database in a database we do not want to have any table that are isolated or not related to any other tables. Okay, thinking of relate the room to the ticket repairing issues. Whenever a room requires for a maintenance, a ticket will be issued. So, there will be a link between room and ticket. Next, does a room relate to account? Of course, yes. Account data store keeps customer contact information. Each customer will associate to room. So, there is a relationship between room and account. Next, we need to determine the multiplicity of the relationship. One to one is used to represent one record from entity X is related to one record from entity Y. Whereas, one to many is used to represent one record from entity X is related to many record from entity Y. And lastly, many to many is when many records from entity X is related to many records from entity Y. A customer, which is an account holder, can rent many rooms. Meanwhile, a same room can be rented by many customers. So, the relationship cardinality between room and account is many to many. Therefore, we need to have a new entity 
that will be the mediator between room and account in order to enforce the relationship not to become many to many. By inserting another entity that we name it as reservation, one account holder can create many reservations and in one reservation he or she can reserve for many rooms. So the finalized data stores are room, reservation, account and ticket. Okay, now let's take a look on the attributes. In the red color that we consider it as the keys. There are two types of keys which are primary key and foreign key. The primary key is the attributes that absolutely belongs to that particular entity. Example, room is an entity. Room ID is the identifier for the room. So, room ID is the primary key for the room entity. Okay, now let's think of on how to make the relationship occur between room and reservation entity. We have to put the, res the room ID into reservation entity. Room ID inside reservation entity will become the foreign key so that room ID in room can link to room ID in the reservation entity. The same case goes to the relationship between room and ticket entity. Ticket keeps the room ID as the foreign key so that room can have relationship to the ticket. Account ID in account is the primary key while the account ID inside reservation entity is the foreign key. Okay, let's revise the attributes inside each data store. Let's consider the attribute name, availability in the room entity. The attribute availability in room is removed and it will be replaced with a new entity that we name it as reservation dates inside reservation entity. This is because keeping the availability in a form of description is less effective compared to when we have a specific date for a particular reservation. The other attributes remains unchanged. Next, Let's try to create sample data for each data store according to the attributes that has been identified. The sample data is useful to illustrate the linkages between data that has been reside in each data store. Based on what we have so far, now this is a diagram that we use to illustrate the linkages or the relationship between data store. We name it as storyboard of linkages. Based on the storyboard and the sample data, now we can create the data dictionary for hotel information system. Based on the storyboard as well, we can create an entity relationship diagram we are using the CrossFit notation that's available in Microsoft Visio to draw the diagram. Okay, that's the final outcome of the case study. Alright, as a quick recap for the last part in Chapter 6, we have identified attributes for each data store. We do create sample data for each data store according to the attributes that has been identified. Then, we create relationship among the data store by using the snapshot of linkages. The snapshot is created towards creating the data dictionary and ERD. 
so that's all thank you for watching besides watching this video do not forget to read the lecture slide and the textbook on chapter 8 and 9 as well thank you assalamualaikum